Hey, many fish. 23rd of July, 2018. There's like three or four articles that I really want to show you. Um, I just got to do it real quick, but I got to tell you, when I came across these, you know, my spirit really got tweaked out, man. I mean, there's something to this. That's all I can really tell you, but I'll just try to show you what I mean here. Uh, this is one of the articles it involves. I'm sure everybody knows about Trump's all caps uh, threat there, right? Uh, another one was this piece of the Western Wall that fell out. That's another one that I want to talk about real quick. And another one is, uh, very strange indeed, uh, that there is the space capsule Orion has been planted in the White House South Lawn. Okay? So there's a couple of things about Trump there. He loves his NASA, um, but I'll start with the Western Wall thing, right? This boulder falls out, and I, you know, I assume that, hey, you know, it's a couple thousand years old. It could happen, but it was a very bizarre thing. When you really go and look at it, it was quite bizarre how this thing came out because it's just not a place where you would think... A stone of that size I mean this is like a cubic yard size it's that's a that's a full-grown woman right there that stone was the size of her so not a normal thing to happen so you know of course <laughs> we see that and it's like hmm what's being said here but let me show you what some of these people were saying in here this is nuts <laughs> you got to read this I'll link it I'd love to sit here and read through the whole thing couple of nutty comments from some rabbis they get in all these experts and there's this one guy here right let me see yeah right here this is a guy who actually excavated a ton of this wall uh, back after the 67 six-day war okay he was like a head lead archaeologist this guy mir bendov and he lamented the current obsession with the Western Wall among the fighting Jewish religion factions and said the stone's fall is of little significance. He must be, you know, an atheist or whatever, but so what? He says, so a rock fell, so what? He says, the state of Israel hasn't ended. The Messiah won't come because of this. Now, when I read that, it just really rippled through me because number one why would they even put that statement in there you know what I mean and when you think of the relevance and then plus what I'm gonna show you in a second this has some relevance to it for sure I mean my spirit just tells me it does I don't know exactly what I wish I did um, I'd, I'd tell you guys first believe me if I had more you know again you know my portion goes out to goes out on the table and we all take what we can use and so uh yeah that was weird and then there the last article that i saw that really freaked me a little bit was this one bears versus sheep in the pyrenees the shepherds are traumatized now again you can read this it's interesting all kinds of craziness in it one little section I will show you that just kind of like kind of sewed it up to me that there was something here was right down here somewhere right here bear attacks on sheep increased 46 percent last year compared with the year before some 464 sheep were killed or wounded by bears most since 96 four six six four I mean, that's a little bit crazy. I think you'd agree. And we're talking about bears devouring wolves, or sheep rather, okay? And the bear, the first first line here, talks about paw prints in the mud. And it made me think of the feet of the bear. Revelation 13, the seven-head, ten-horned beast. The 17 again, okay? He was like unto a leopard, and he had the feet of a bear. Okay, the mouth of a lion. I mean, these things just resonate with me. They they definitely mean something, okay? So here's the deal that happened with me here that just made me want to put the video up and, and wish I could spend more time on this. But 
and, and all these things all of these are from today i'll link everything okay but <laughs> it comes upon me you know i don't always use the gematria but you know when it's put upon me i just do because it's real it's god's numbers and i don't dig into the pythagorean stuff and all that it's either the jewish the literal hebrew letter gematria or the english and the english is the six count which is simple times six count the number of a man six six i call it the john count that's just my little thing okay but the shepherds are traumatized you know look at the christian quote church today you think the shepherds are traumatized and the bears are devouring the sheep and this is what's going to happen you could even look at the the bear in daniel 7 but this is what was put on me to put in the gematria the pyrenees bears i mean that's just what it was pyrenees bears and i'm looking at it and i'm i'm looking at the hebrew and the reason i'm looking at the hebrew is because i know it relates to the western wall it's hebrew and all the way you know back to daniel to job when i when i get into the orion stuff i mean <laughs> The White House has the Orion parked on the South Lawn. I mean, seriously. And we got Trump saying, never, ever threaten us again. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the connection to Trump is just, you won't believe this. This is just crazy, okay? That's all I can really say. Pyrenees Bears in the Jewish, 863. Well... <laughs> Remember I showed you in this one here, the guy who said that, so what, that the rock fell, the Messiah won't come because of this? Well, 863 is also Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Now that's nuts, and that ain't all. We got Trump with Orion on the front lawn and uh, texting things around, you know? President Trump, 863. So, what does all this mean? I honestly, all I know is that we are in the end times. And when you're in Christ, you're not freaking out. You're not traumatized like the shepherds are. You know what I mean? Because you know the time you're in and you, are at, you have that peace in, in your salvation. Because you know he's got you. He has redeemed you when you are washed in the blood of the savior man the messiah yeshua hamashiach you see where i'm coming from i mean this is crazy this this is really nuts you know and i wish i was like more you know whatever to put it out to you but man what what else can i do with this and the in the orion thing at the white house that's plain flat out nuts you guys Orion, you know, Orion, really, what it represents is Nimrod, right? Seriously, that's Jewish tradition. The, the, the giant. Orion represents Nimrod and the folly. And where do we see Orion all over the Bible? Again, you know, I mean, we can look at uh, several. I mean, it's crazy. Job 9.9. 9. Who make it, I mean, who would shake at the earth? Out of her place, and the pillars thereof tremble. Who maketh Octorus, the bear, <laughs> Orion, and Pilates? I mean, this is crazy, you guys. The seven sisters. I mean, come on. What do you do with this? You know what I'm saying? Where, where do you even go with this stuff? And this stuff links to Isaiah. It links to kings with Elisha and the bears. Um man out of control you guys but i i just have to put it out to you i have to you know pyrenees bears yeshua hamashiach and these all these articles just line up perfectly with all this stuff it's crazy it's absolutely nuts this one here really gets me that really gets me i can't wait to look at it on the map and see why did they place it exactly where they did that's that's the kind of stuff they do you guys and whatever just rest in jesus and you know let him give us what he gives us you know what i'm saying my portion is sufficient man
and I hope yours is too. So I had to show it to you, and I hope it blesses somebody. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 